Hey guys, welcome. So let's just start off by simply saying yes, the Mavic Pro 2 will be released on July 18, 2018. Period. Said and done. And after all, we know it's well overdue and DJI certainly wants to crush any competition. Sorry, Autel Robotics. And the name. Let's officially call it the Mavic 2 and not the Mavic Pro 2. And think about the Phantom 4 Pro. Phantom 4 Pro. It's not called Phantom Pro 4. So, full disclosure, much of what I'm going to cover is speculation, but I do believe that most of these new features and capabilities that I'm going to cover are not at all unreasonable to expect from DJI, the world leader in consumer drones. But let's talk about the number one most important feature, the camera. We all want to see a one inch sensor just like the Phantom 4 Pro with 20 megapixels, which Mavic Pro owners envy, but at least initially, They'll likely come out with a smaller 12 megapixel, 1 in 1.7 inch sensor, which is still better than a 1 in 2.3 inch sensor of the Mavic Pro. And then later release the Mavic 2 Pro with the 1 inch sensor. It's also expected that the new camera will have a wider field of view, 24 millimeters just like the Phantom 4 Pro. The Mavic Pro has a narrower 26 millimeter field of view and of course we'll get a camera sensor with less noise during all lighting conditions including better dynamic range video of course will be 4k at 60 frames per second with a faster 100 megapixel per second bitrate just like the phantom 4 pro and the mavic air the mavic pro is 4k with 30 frames per second at just 60 megapixels per second Newly designed 3-axis gimbal, sturdier and protected like the Mavic Air. Thank goodness. Longer flight time, 32 minutes. Mavic Pro is 27 minutes and the Mavic Pro Platinum is 30 minutes. Top speed is 45 miles per hour in sport mode. Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum, 40 miles per hour. And at top speed, you won't see the props so you'll be able to take some very dynamic, cinematic, dynamatic shots. I just submitted a new word. We're going to see a bigger batter battery. 4820 milliamp hour capacity at 15.2 volts. Well that makes sense to be able to handle the bigger camera, more sensors and other capabilities. But that kind of sucks too, right? Because a bigger battery likely will require a bigger drone. And wasn't portability the main reason we bought the Mavic Pro? Well, maybe, just maybe, we'll be pleasantly surprised that DJI will be able to maintain about the same size as the Mavic Pro. And expect it to look sexier, more like the Mavic Air. Obstacle avoidance. Yes, in all directions. That's basically 360 degree obstacle avoidance. So rearward, upward, and lateral sensors would be added. Wow, that would be amazing. Well, maybe except it might not still detect those pesky little tree branches and power lines. Advanced Pilot Assistance Systems, APAS, like the Mavic Air, but improved version that allows the Mavic 2 to fly around objects better and faster. And of course, all the intelligent flight modes, including sub modes like Asteroid and Helix that are currently missing in the Mavic Pro. Remote Controller, OcuSync, of course. What a beastie means of signal transmission, giving us amazing distance and a highly stable live view feed. I don't think you could really top it, and do you need to? The screen will be in color, just like the Autel Evo. Pricing. Mavic 2 price will be at least $1,299, especially since the Mavic Pro Platinum is $1,099, and of course, they'll also offer the Fly More combo, which could make it $1,599. Whoa. Alright guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. Please comment below with your opinions and thoughts. Happy flying. Bye.